This video is on how to fabricate a very simple dental implant surgical guide. This is called the Easy Stint. You can see, we've got an implant here. We're going to place an implant here. This is the Easy Stint package. So we've got one for a tooth that's being replaced that's between adjacent teeth. This is when you have a distal or a mesial extension with no posterior teeth to connect to. So you're placing this on the teeth adjacent to the edentulous area on either the mesial or the distal, but you don't have teeth on either the distal or the mesial of the edentulous site. This is when you're missing two for when you're missing two teeth and you place this part on the mesial and the distal. And this is if you're replacing one missing tooth in an edentulous site and you don't have any teeth distal or mesial to the edentulous site. So you've got different ways of accommodating the edentulous site with the ideal spacing between the implants if you're placing two. It makes it a lot easier. You know, what I found is if you just try to freehand it, it's not that you can't do it, but it's harder than you think to get the angulation just exactly right if you're just freehanding. I do that sometimes, but I prefer to have a surgical guide because it orients you correctly to alignment, especially when you get into the posterior part of the mouth and you've got lips and tongue and different things interfering with your ability to see the orientation of the adjacent teeth to perfectly align the pilot drill. Okay, so this is the study model. You first place a mark at the exact point that you want to place the implant. That's right in the center. So you make a plus sign. One's in alignment with the adjacent teeth and the other is between the adjacent teeth. And so when you're making your pilot hole, you want to be sure you align with the roots and the, uh, the coronal part of the tooth that you want to use as your vertical alignment guide. Now remember, when, especially when you're in the anterior part of the mouth, you want the implant to be more toward the, pal toward the palatal. Now this is a trick because it's also got to be in a position that the patient can occlude. In other words, if you place that implant too far to the palatal, then the patient, when you place the crown in the abutment, the patient may not be able to bite down without hitting the implant. So you need to look at the patient's occlusion. If you can place it more toward the palatal, if the occlusion, in this case, if the mandibular occlusion allows you to place it more toward the palatal, you end up with a much better result because you've got more bone and soft tissue on the facial. All right, so this is the drill that comes with the easy stent uh, package. There's a drill in each of the packages and you put it on a straight handpiece and I'm being careful to align the drill in alignment with whichever tooth I decide is gonna be my vertical guide. So in this case, it's the bicuspid primarily since I'm replacing a first bicuspid. So the objective you'll remember with an implant is you want at least a millimeter of bone all the way around the implant. And if you can have more bone on the facial and soft tissue, you end up with a much better cosmetic result. I'm very careful about placing implants in the aesthetic zone. The aesthetic zone is the maxillary anterior. I'm not real keen on placing implants in the aesthetic zone if a patient has a high lip line when they smile because all kinds of issues can arise with implants in the aesthetic zone if the patient has a high lip line. If you get a woman that has a, shows gingival tissue when they smile, it's really difficult to place an implant in the aesthetic zone and get the gingival line just exactly right, the papilla exactly right, and not have any dark shine through of that implant. That's why you want as much facial bone and soft tissue as possible to block the gray color of the implant from shining through the tissue. So I'm being careful to place this in perfect alignment. So we're placing a maxillary right first bicuspid and a maxillary left lateral incisor. So this is the easy stent. So the lateral incisor will 
use this type of easy stint. I'll take this other stuff off and conform this to these teeth and the cuspid tooth for the lateral incisor. On the right bicuspid, I'll take this easy stint off and conform this surgical guide to the cuspid, the lateral incisor, and the second bicuspid. The first thing I'm doing is wetting the model, give it nice and wet, and then you put the easy stent in this tub of boiling water and you leave it in the tub of water, boiling water until it becomes clear, till the easy stent goes from white to clear. And hold it with some cotton forceps in the silver part until it becomes clear. You can see it's getting clear here. It doesn't take very long. And then you've got a wet model and you put the cylinder on the post and then you can form it to the teeth on either side in this case. You don't have to work real quickly. You've got some time and you want this cylindrical part to be on the tissue. Then you put it in cold water just under the water faucet is fine. See how that that's a nice guide. So you want this cylindrical part to be on the on the stone then this is how you use it in the mouth the pilot drill goes through you've got an extra long pilot drill that comes with the system use that pilot drill if you use a normal pilot drill it's a little too thin and it's got a, a, some room to move so you're not necessarily hitting the exact spot where you want to place the implant so use the pilot drill that comes with the surgical the easy stent system it's a little wider so it fits in that cylinder perfectly so you're doing the same thing here putting this cylinder on top of the post and put it down to the soft to the stone then put it in some cool water and it'll turn back from clear to white. Doesn't take very long. This is very accurate, very easy. Here I'm using that in the mouth. So this is our final result. We've got one implant here, one implant here. You can see this whole case in the library of dentistrymasterclasses.com. The easy stent, fabrication, how we use it, and the placement of the implants, everything. So that's the dental minute. These techniques work and they work every time. Don't you want to take your practice to the top tier? Subscribe to DentistryMasterclasses.com for an organized library of all the Dental Minute videos plus many complete comprehensive cases and so many important articles that you can only find right here. New cases are added weekly and it's only $20 a month. Subscribe today.